All right, I want to make a quick video on the Dillon 650 conversion kits. If you're looking at a Dillon 650, you may not know what the parts are, but if you get a conversion kit for your caliber, you're going to have a powder funnel, a case feed adapter, this is your case feed bushing, this is your case feed body, and you're also going to have a station one locator. And of course, you're going to have a shell plate and your retaining pins. I'll put a link below to a chart so you can see what parts of these you need for different calibers. If you don't want to buy a whole conversion kit, or if you buy one used and you got some spare parts laying around, you may not know what the parts are. I'm going to show you where each one of these items go on the press when you're doing a conversion. So let me back this camera up and we'll do that. First parts we're going to look at is going to be the case feeder parts. First you're going to have your case feed bushing, your arm bushing. You're just going to move this case feeder arm over. And you're just going to drop it in that hole right there. And that's your case feed arm bushing. Next part we're going to look at after the case feed bushing is your case feed adapter. You're going to see a notch on it. There's also a notch right here that it's going to snap into. You're just going to push that straight down. And the third final part for the case feed is the case feed body bushing. For 9mm I'm going to run the small one. This is just going to screw right underneath where that bushing goes. So it's going to screw right in that thread cavity right there. It's going to tighten it down. You can take an Allen wrench. There's a hole right on the side. You can just stick an Allen wrench in just to snug it up a hair. You don't got to have that real tight. So now we got the case feed parts put in. We're going to use the station one locator. What you're going to do is pull this out of the way. You're just going to drop that right in. That's, that's going to ensure your case feeds you straight into your shell plate. Let's take this to the next part shell plate itself. I'm going to go ahead and put this in with the stock detent. I have the upgraded detent and spring from Snowshoes. So this is the factory ball and spring. I do have the Snowshoes detent ball and spring, but I'm going to install it with the regular one because I want to make a video of before and after the Snowshoes upgrade to show if and how much they really do work. But for your show plate, you're just going to slide that right over it. Now, also on the snowshoes part video, there's going to be a washer right here. Uh, this is just a regular bolt if you're not running the upgrade. So it's just going to go in. So just going to tighten this down all the way. Then back it off about a quarter turn. And once you get it to the spot you want, you're going to lift the ram up. If you slide this over, you'll notice that set screw come out. Just go on and tighten that down. And this is going to ensure your bolt right here doesn't rotate. Now one final part is going to be your case ejector. You're just going to have to slide this case pusher out of the way. There's a little bitty hole on the edge of your carrier. You're going to slide that in. Just push it down around the bolt right there. And if you get it all put together right, you'll notice your shell plate's indexing correctly. If it's not one to index, or it's getting real jammed up, uh, look over here, their Paul. It's actually called the index Paul. It may have it in backwards. It actually looks like it's supposed to go in this way in the press, but your hatchet part's supposed to point to the left side of the press. That's going to let it index the way it needs to go. But if you look up here, on your case feeder part, that case feeder arm's moving that bushing over. And every time you do it, that's going to grab a new case, it's going to drop it down and slide across the case pusher. Your case pusher is going to push it across that station one locator you put in. So that's it. The only other part we did not use, other than the pins, your pins go right here to hold the shell inside the stations. But it's a powder funnel. Your powder funnel is going to go inside your powder die. I'm going to wait for this because I want to do it on the next video when I do my quick change kit. I bought a quick change kit from Extreme Reloading NV. Uh, they got some really great deals going on right now. But the quick change kit is a shell plate and a powder hopper. So this is going to go inside your powder die. It comes with powder die, your charge bars, all that. So this is going to go in there. So I'll save that for the next video. Uh, if you're interested in that video, I also have the die setups. And then I have the before and after snowshoes parts just to see how much it really helps.